Hello everyone, it is I, the Jack of All Trades with the Foul Mouth, Commodore Urban. And like I told you in part one of this video of my Titanic collection for the 108th anniversary of the Maiden Voyage, which will be April 10th of 2020, 108 years ago that day, Titanic would left Southampton, and several days later on the 14th at 11.40 p.m., she would struck the iceberg, and at 2.20 a.m. on the 15th, she would have slid beneath the waves of the North Atlantic, taking with her 1,496 uh, passengers and crew. And so for the 108th anniversary, I'm showing you guys my entire Titanic collection with Titanic and Titanic-related items. Part 1 was the books and DVDs. Part 2 is the rest of the shit. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright, the first thing I'm showing you guys is my 1-200 scale paper model of the Titanic. I did a review on this a while back. As you can see, this is a paper model. I don't know if I'll ever build this, but I might one day. I might one day. I have both the original soundtrack to the movie and I have the Back to Titanic they're both very 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 good CDs both very fucking good CDs uh, let's see let's show some of the shit in the back this picture is an original publicity photo of the model the Titanic used in the movie Rays the Titanic based on the book by Clyde Cussler and there's a thing in the back of the picture that talks about it, but I've got it framed. I've never seen this fucking movie, but since I've watched, or not watched, but since I've read the book, I really need to watch the movie and do a comparison. Uh, let's see, I have um, two copies, two VHS copies of the movie. Don't fucking ask me how i done that one, but I did. And also I have two of these bells, as you can see, they say Titanic 1912. Uh, here's a real fact, the Titanic's actual bell in her crow's nest did not have her name engraved on it. That's a true fact. As you can see, this one has the striker on it, and I have rung that bell several times. I'll probably do a bell ringing service on the 14th for the anniversary. What else can I show you here real quick before I dive into all this paper shit? Oh, yeah. My replica first class dining room service plate. This is authentic replica from the artifact collection. This is a really fucking cool plate. I want to do once I get the 1400 scale model done. I want to get a plate holder and put this up by it, and I want to get a piece of the coal from the actual ship. Alright, let's go ahead and start diving into some of this fucking paper shit. I have here a whole bunch of boarding passes from the artifact exhibit, including Frederick Joseph Goodwin, which he sadly died. Um, this is... Mila Paulson, she, I believe, yeah, she, she died too. Paul Chavez, I believe he survived. And Frederick Edward Giles, I believe he, he died. So, yeah. Uh, I got some photographs of the Titanic, of some areas of the Titanic, including... The Café Parage, the first class dining room, first class smoking room, uh, crew members giving, being given new clothes after they landed in New York, the Titanic in Southampton on Good Friday, the Titanic with her sister Olympic in Belfast, the Titanic in the background shortly before she was launched with the bow of the Nomadic in the foreground. Uh, stateroom B-58. 
the first class lounge and this is the uh, the veranda cafe you can tell by the windows this is the veranda cafe and of course y'all also have my original newspaper my original paper my original newspaper when the Titanic sank this is a very 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 um, very important piece in my collection a print this is a replica print of one of Ken Marshall's early paintings of the Titanic if I ever meet Ken Marshall I want him to sign this that'd be awesome here's a drawing of the Titanic done by my good friend Russ Willoughby back in the late 80s this is just a copy but it's a copy of a drawing he did here's the ticket from the artifact exhibition they had of an indie that I went to back in January 2011 I have this little book called Wake I guess some kind of a biblical thing or something I don't know what it is but it was given to me because of this this little article talking about the Titanic is like literally four pages long that's the reason why I have it I have this rough reproduction of this poster that was given to me by my sister and her husband for the Titanic's return trip back to um, England which never 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 took place I have this metal sign that says Titanic world's largest ocean liner Southampton in New York this is a pretty neat piece um, this is a clipping from the Titanic artifact experience that was in uh, Florida I have several of these from the artifact exhibition that was up in the Indiana State Museum I have several of these so yeah like three of those and that is where I got my uh, my replica plate and I have a shit ton of these from the Titanic experience in Florida I have a shit ton of these yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of them and I got two of these these are the later ones in the dinner show I do want to do the dinner show if I go back down there um, here's some white star line items which are Titanic this is um, not just for the this is for the Olympic the majestic and the Homeric there's the majestic there's the Olympic which is the sister of the Titanic and of course you have the uh, homeric. Um, here is a original brochure for Olympic and Titanic. This is an original brochure for the two sisters. Pretty interesting item. An original third class ticket of the era from White Star. An original brochure for both Olympic and Titanic. This is a very, very, very unique piece. This is a replica of the passenger list from the Titanic. See, it was published by the Titanic Historical Society. See, Royal and U.S. Mail SS Titanic. And it has the list of first and second class passengers in it. And this is another, this was a reprint from the Titanic Historical Society for cutaway of the Olympic which is absolutely fucking amazing I have here a reproduction of the uh, souvenir launching brochure for the Britannic which is the uh, baby sister to Titanic you can see there's some really amazing pictures in here of of the Brit of Brit and she was being built and there is a picture of her as she was supposed to have looked you can see but sadly she never was finished now here is a really cool brochure this is an original brochure for Olympic and Titanic both and this this motherfucker opens up the Olympic and Titanic this motherfucker is awesome you can see on the back side you see Olympic.
Olympic and Titanic. Here is a um, kind of an interiors booklet. Kind of a this is kind of a, like an accommodation plan for Olympic, Oceanic, Majestic. But see, it's see, it's for Olympic. And right here is a first class passenger rates book for Olympic and Titanic. See right here. And it says Titanic. That is a really cool item. Uh, I have here a 1999 calendar of pictures of the Titanic with paintings by Ken Marshall. I have here by my my blueprint of the Titanic in the background. And of course I have here a shit ton of newspaper clippings. Literally like from like the 100th anniversary, like when the Titanic like when the 100th anniversary was going on, that's when all of these... Oh yeah, there's a Titanic victim buried in the local cemetery, which that's kind of cool, I didn't know that. And the survivor of the Titanic passes away. Titanic remembered. The Titanic of 100. Um, here is a publicity picture from the movie Titanic. So there's Jack in a suit in the first class dining room. And there he's with Rose showing Rose his nude drawings. And I actually had a bunch more boxes, model boxes. But if I was to get all my model boxes out for my Olympic class models, I would have had a fucking avalanche. So I just said fuck it. Here is the box to that model right there. And of course there is the box to that model down there. And finally there is four of my Olympic class models. There is my one 350 scale Titanic by Minicraft. There's my one 570 scale Titanic by Ravel. My one 700 scale Olympic by Ravel. And my one 1200 scale Titanic by Ravel. And as you guys know my one 400 scale premium edition Titanic by Academy. So, there you have it, guys. That is my entire RMS Titanic collection. And before I get off, I'll show you this in better detail so you guys can see this in a little bit better detail. So, yeah. And there you have it, guys. That is my entire RMS Titanic collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos as much as I have putting them together. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll get back with you. And as always, if you're new to my channel and you like the shit I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the fucking notification bell, never miss a video, become part of the Commodore's crew. <coughs> so yeah, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, don't get the Chinaman virus. And uh, until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Have smooth seas, clear skies, happy sailing, God bless you. And um, let the let the great ship Titanic and her 1,496 victims rest in peace. God bless them and God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.